Hey guys, welcome to another Elden Ring boss guide. This time we're talking about patches. Patches you can find right here in the Murkwater Cave towards the beginning of the game in Limgrave. You basically just uh, ride your horse up the river here and then you'll stop right here. Just outside this gate, outside of this cave, you'll have to fight an invader named Bloody Finger Narius. After you defeat Narius, you'll be free to enter this cave and make your way down to the boss room. In this fight, you are able to leave Patches alive if you choose to, but in this playthrough specifically, I'm going to show you how I defeat him. He's actually very easy, despite him having a tower shield with a long-range spear. To make him spawn, you have to enter the room and then open this chest. When you open the chest, he jumps down from up there after talking some smack. As you can see right here. Yeah. Now, there's one key attack that you need to watch out for that Patches will do. He'll take a moment to blow some uh, reddish-brown stuff at you. When he does that, you can run at him and attack him for free. You get in there, you attack, you roll out. Now, you have to be careful because this reddish-brown stuff does decrease your attack. As you can see on the top left uh, side, underneath my stamina bar, you'll see this sword with the down arrow. That means my attack is down. But every time he does it, you're able to land a free hit on him and then back off. He's very easy for that reason alone. Uh, outside of that, you can just roll out of the way of his attacks, just completely avoid him, wait until he does that specific breath attack, roll in, hit him, back off. Now, if you do want to get crazy, you can backstab him if you want a critical hit. There's nothing wrong with that. But halfway through the fight, he'll ask for mercy. You don't have to be merciful if you don't want to, but if you do have mercy, you'll have a quest you can do with him later. On this playthrough, I'm not doing that. So basically, you'll see, I'm going to attack him. It did change up the dynamic of the boss fight a little bit. He no longer has like the boss health bar, but the strategy remains the same after the fact. It's very easy to kill him. You just got to wait for that attack and then hit him. I would not recommend going up against his tower shield or his spear. His spear is actually plus seven as well. So if you are using thrusting weapons or spears in general, killing patches early game will give you a huge power boost early on. I'm just going to keep doing the same tactic. I'm going to actually try to backstab him if he does the breath attack again. He's holding off on it for a while. Sometimes he'll do this where he'll just stop doing it altogether, which can be pretty annoying. There it is. He went to heal. Oh. Do the breath attack patches. Do it. Do it. There it is. Get behind him. Oh, he rolled out of the backstab. You see that? Crazy. There's the breath again. We backstab. But as you can see, as long as you keep abusing that specific attack, he's not hard to kill at all. Now, the good news is, if you do choose to defeat him, he does drop his bell bearing, which means you can give this bell bearing to the uh, the crone at the round table hold, and you'll be able to buy the same items that Patches would normally sell, like the stone sword key. Um, I think he has uh, Margit's shackle, stuff like that. So you'll be able to buy stuff from that specifically still if you do so. As you can see as well, there's the spear plus seven. You get his leather armor sets, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for tuning in for my guide for patches. I appreciate your company. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you soon for more.